Today we look at striking from the hand. Striking from the hand can be one of the most technical skills we can ask our players to perform at such a young age. If we really break it down, it's a medley of actions all asking to be performed in sync to be an effective striker of the ball. It can be daunting for a player, but it can be daunting for a coach too. As coaches, all our life we've just been throwing up a ball and striking it without thinking around the language around it or how we'd break it down for someone if we were to show them. So, it'll become all the more apparent how important having everything that we've worked on in place from previous levels, such as getting the correct size and weight of hurley, having established my hurley hand and catching hand, my ready and lock position, and working on my grip and my swing over time with my players. We break this down into a simple four-step process that'll make it easier for you to get a real look at the different parts of the skill and how they should be performed. Step one will be grip and swing. Shoulder set to the center of the target, same shoulder, same foot, opposite elbow, and hands together. A big C from my eyebrows to my waist, left and right, every single time. Step two, making sure that my hurley starts in a nice high position at an angle, and this is why it's so important to have my hurley light and the proper size so that I can hold it at full length. Holding the ball out from my body in line with my boss, I get a chance to judge a dropping ball. Popping the ball up to eye level and letting it drop into my hand. Getting a chance to read how long it will take for the ball to fall once I have popped it out of my hand. Step two will be hand position and elbow position. Getting the solid base, popping the ball up in line with the boss to eye level, getting my hand onto the hurley and my elbow nice and high. My ready to strike from the hand position. That's what we call our ready to strike from the hand position. Repetitive actions making sure that we're putting focus on keeping my eye on the ball, getting my hands together on the hurley, and getting my elbow nice and high. Step three, hand onto the hurley, hand off the hurley, and catch the ball again. A simple exercise to drill hand position, a brilliant exercise for repetitive actions of the habit we're looking to instill, or the habit we might be looking to break. If I have enough time to get my hand onto the hurley, off the hurley, and catch the ball again, I have enough time not to force or snatch at my swing drill quality and control and striking through the ball. Try this with your players. I hope it helps 